Picture this moment. You finally get home after a long day. Your mind is tired, your body is slow. You drop onto the couch and reach for a controller. Maybe it is from a PlayStation. Maybe it is from an Xbox. But today, something feels different. You are not staring at a huge console next to your TV. You are not waiting for fans to spin up like a jet engine. You are not preparing yourself for a giant update that eats your entire evening. Instead, you press one button. A tiny black box wakes up under your TV. It is quiet. It is small. It almost disappears into your setup. The screen lights up and a clean Apple interface appears. Smooth, fast, familiar. Within seconds, you are inside a game. Not a mobile game. Not a cloud stream. A real AA8 game. You are riding. Through open plains, you are fighting enemies. You are fully immersed. There's no lag, no delay, no blurry image. For years, this idea felt impossible. It sounded like tech fantasy, something people talked about online but never expected to see. Apple Gaming was always a joke to some people. Good hardware, but no serious games. That story is about to change. And the center of this change is the 2026 Apple TV 4K. Many people expected a new Apple TV in 2024, then in 2025. It never arrived. At first, that felt strange. But now it makes sense. Apple was not late. Apple was waiting. They were not planning a small upgrade. They were planning a transformation. The current Apple TV 4K launched in 2022, in tech time. That feels ancient. Three years is a lifetime. During that time, Apple's silicon moved forward at a shocking speed. iPhones became faster than laptops. Tablets matched desktops. And one chip changed everything. The A17 Pro? When Apple launched the A17 Pro, they made a bold statement. They showed full console quality games running on a phone. Not demos, not watered down versions. Real games. Resident Evil, Death Stranding, Hitman, all running locally, on a device that fits in your pocket. That moment was not about the phone, it was about the future. Now imagine, that same chip inside a TV box. A device that does not worry about battery life. A device plugged into the wall. A device with more space for cooling. Suddenly, all the limits disappear. The chip can run harder, longer, more consistently. This is where the uh, Apple TV stops being just a streaming box. It becomes a console. Phones have to slow down to avoid heat. They throttle. They protect themselves. A TV box does not need to do that. Rumors suggest Apple is using a new thermal design. A metal base that acts as a giant heat sink. No fans. No noise. Just quiet performance. This matters more than people realize. Gaming is about immersion. Loud fans break that feeling. Silence. Who keeps you inside the world? The Apple TV fits into your living room instead of dominating it. It does not ask for attention. It just works. Right now, Apple TV is mostly known for Apple Arcade. Those games are fun. They are polished. But they are casual. They do not pull in hardcore gamers. That changes the moment AAA games arrive. When titles like Red Dead Redemption and Assassin's Creed become playable on an Apple TV, everything shifts. People start taking Apple gaming seriously. So why did Apple wait until 2026? The answer is not hardware. It is software. Apple needed time for developers. In the past, bringing a game to Apple platforms was hard, expensive, slow. Today, Apple's game porting tools changed everything. Developers can move games from Windows and consoles to Apple's metal system much faster. What once took years now takes months. By waiting, Apple ensures one thing. When you buy this Apple TV, the App Store is ready. It is full. Full of games released over the past few years. A massive backlog of proven titles. No empty shelves. No waiting. This is a smart move. Apple does not sell this as a gaming console. They sell it as a streaming box. But hidden inside is a powerful gaming machine. You turn it on, you launch a game, you play. No setup, no hassle. And then comes AI. For years, Siri felt behind. It was slow and misunderstood simple requests. It was, became a joke. Apple knew this. They needed a reset. The A17 Pro includes a powerful neural engine built for artificial intelligence. This is where the Apple TV becomes something more. In 2026, the Apple TV is not just a player, it is a brain. It learns your habits. It understands your routine. It knows that Friday nights are movie nights. It knows what your kids watch in the morning. It understands context. And most importantly, it processes information locally. Local processing is everything. Your voice commands do not travel across the world. They do not wait for servers. Everything happens right there, under your TV. This means faster responses, better privacy, a smoother experience. You speak, it responds instantly. The Apple TV also becomes the heart of your smart home. With Wi-Fi 7 and a dedicated thread radio, it connects to your lights, locks, cameras, and sensors with speed and reliability. Smart homes used to feel glitchy. Delays were common. Commands failed. 
That changes here. Your TV becomes a dashboard for your life. You are watching a show? A small notification appears. Someone is at your door. You see it live. No phone needed. No app switching. Everything stays simple. This level of integration is hard to match. Sony and Microsoft make great consoles. But they do not control your phone, your watch, your tablet, and your home hub. Apple does. That ecosystem matters. Now let's talk about the competition. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are powerful machines, but they are focused on gaming only. They are large, loud, expansive, they require space and maintenance, updates, storage management, cooling. That the Apple TV is the opposite. It is quiet, small, always ready. It is not just for gamers. It is for people who like to play games, people who grew up with older consoles, people who want fun without complexity. This group is massive. Millions of people want one device, Netflix, Disney Plus, music, fitness, smart home control, and now, real games, all in one place, one remote, one box. There is no switching inputs, no waiting for boot screens, you sit down, you play dot. This is where Apple wins. The design of the 2026 Apple TV reflects this philosophy. From the outside, it looks familiar, minimal, elegant, but inside, it is completely redesigned, efficient, silent, powerful, it stays out of the way. While doing more than ever before, Apple is betting on convenience. History shows they usually win that bet. They did it with the iPod, with the iPhone, with the iPad. They were not always the most powerful, but they were the easiest to live with. Pricing will decide everything. If Apple keeps this under $200, it becomes an easy choice, especially for people already in the Apple ecosystem. If you own an iPhone or a Mac, the Apple TV completes the experience. Your photos are there, your music is there, your games follow you. You start playing on your phone. You continue on your TV. Seamless, effortless. This continuity is Apple's greatest strength. It creates an ecosystem that feels natural, comfortable, hard to leave. In the end, the 2026 Apple TV 4K looks like a sleeper hit, a device many people will underestimate. It is for families, for casual gamers, for smart home users, for anyone who wants high quality without complexity. Apple took their time, and it shows. They are not just releasing a new box. They are creating a new category, a bridge between streaming, gaming, and smart living. The power of Apple Silicon finally reaches the biggest screen in your home. The future of the living room is not loud. It is not bulky. It is silent, small, intelligent, a box that knows what you want before you ask. Apple has been playing the long game, and in 2026, the rest of the industry may finally realize it. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for more updates.